Article 1337, there is undue influence when a person takes improper advantage of his power over the will of another, depriving the latter of reasonable freedom of choice. The following circumstances shall be considered, the confidential, family, spiritual, and other relation between the parties, or the fact that the person alleged the, to have been unduly influenced was suffering from mental weakness or was ignorant in the financial distress. What is undue influence? Undue influence most commonly occurs when a more powerful party exerts its influence over a less powerful party in order to achieve its desired outcome. Requisite of undue influence First, when a person takes improper advantage of his power over the will of another. Second, depriving the latter of reasonable freedom of the choice. The following circumstances shall be considered the confidential, family, spiritual, and other relation between the parties, or the fact that the person alleged to have been unduly influenced was suffering from mental weakness or was ignorant or in financial distress. X, a tenant, is in need of 10,000 pesos to pay his landlord who is seeking to eject him for failure to pay the rents. X tries to borrow from Y, but the latter instead tell him to sell his piano for 10,000 pesos. X has nobody to turn for assistance. If X does not want to sell the piano, but he is compelled to sell it because of his financial condition, the sale may be avoided on the ground of undue influence. However, if the influence is reasonable and allowable, agreement or persuasion, and then will not be shared consent. Article 1338 There is proud when true into those words are machinations of the one of the contracting parties. The other is induced to enter into the contract which, without them, he would not have agreed to. They have two different types of fraud. First, casual fraud. Second, is incidental fraud. First is casual fraud. Is the fraud committed by the one of the party before or the time of the celebration of the contract to secure the consent of the other? Is it the fraud used by the party to induce the other to enter a contract without which the latter would have not agreed to? Second is the accidental fraud. Fraud committed in the performance of an obligation already existing. How is casual fraud committed? First, insidious words. Second, machinations. Third, concealment. But the concealment will discuss on Article 1339. Insidious words and machination includes misrepresentation in words, action done with fraudulent purpose. Requisite of casual fraud. First, the fraud must be material. Second, it must be serious. Third, it must be employed by one of the contracting parties. For example, if the two parties committed fraud, the contract remains valid. But if the fraud is committed by the third person, does not be shared consent. Unless the other party willing to involve with it can be shared consent. Fourth, it must be made in bad faith or with intent to deceive the other contracting party who had no knowledge of fraud. Fifth, it must have induced the consent of the other contracting party. Six, it must be alleged and proved by the clear and convincing evidence. For example, S offered to sell to B a ring claiming that the stone on the ring is a diamond. S knows that is not diamond but ordinary glass. If B buys the ring, relying on the truth of the representation of S, the sale may be annulled on the ground of fraud.